Welcome to Christian Catholic Truth, and today we got Jesse Romero, author of Devil in uh, the Devil in the City of Angels, and we're going to go ahead and start off with the prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast and tell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. It's going to be a fun hour here with uh, Jesse Romero. He's a um, Catholic. He's a legend in, in within the Catholic um Catholic circles in California and throughout the world. So thank you so much, Jesse, for coming on our show. And um, man, it's such an honor. I, I I only want to be a legend in the eyes of Jesus Christ. That's all that matters. <laughs> Amen. And you are, no, brother. Nothing, yeah, nothing else matters uh, beyond that, really. Amen. Amen. And, and um, you're doing God's work, and you're you're educating millions of Catholics. So thank you so much for that. Thanks, partner. You got it. And uh, so today we're going to speak about your new book. I've been looking at it. the 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 uh, The cover looks pretty awesome. I mean, it looks very interesting. Um, so were you afraid? Were you afraid when you wrote this book? Okay. Oh, so you're so you're talking about the last book that I wrote is called "The Devil in the City of Angels," right? Yes. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, that book came out. Uh, it was published by Tan uh, a few months ago, and it's a book that I've been wanting to write for years. Okay. I'll tell you why, because uh, <clears throat> basically let me give people an overview of the book before I tell them about why I took so long to write it. Okay. I, I think an, an over, a good overview of the book would be it's uh, I think everybody has had encounters with witches, the diabolical, especially if you grew up in a, in a big city or in the inner city. Right. And uh, especially if you grew up in a Hispanic community, uh, the fact is, is that in Hispanic communities, there there is a lot of uh, <clears throat> Satanism, witchcraft, Santeria, Santa Muerte. It's been so, it's it's something that's been pouring in from across the borders the last right. couple of decades, and it's it's growing pretty fast in the U.S. as a result of of poorly catechized Hispanic Catholics. And uh, and therefore, Hispanic Catholics are are kind of easy prey. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. And, and what, the way they do it is they set up these botanicas, which are these you know small mom and pop occult stores. And and in the back of the store they have like a parlor. And uh, the front of the stores are always dressed up with a lot of Catholic statues and Catholic images. Right. So the low information Catholic walks by and say, "Hey, there's the Catholic store." And they're 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 kind of coerced to go inside to buy a Catholic statue or a Catholic image, and that's when the shaman, the the, the wizard, the sorcerer, the witch, the healer, uh, as they call them in Spanish, curandera, right. that's when they try to bring you to the back of the room and say, hey, uh, would you like to make more money? Would you like to have a better marriage? Uh, and so that's when they start introducing introducing you into the world of the occult. So. I wrote right. this book. I think, it, it, I think uh, Ephesians chapter five verse eleven. It really says why I wrote this book. Okay. I, Ephesians five eleven says this quote: "Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them." Wow. So the Bible says, "Take no part in the fruit, uh, the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose." 